Hey guys, thanks for watching another episode of Top 10 Countdown. I'm your host, Jordan Ross. With Halloween coming up, we decided to make a list of the top 10 least scary horror movie villains of all time. First up is Samara from The Ring. The Ring is definitely a scary movie, but a large part of that is due to the creepy editing of the haunted video, the scary sound effects, and the eerie music. When you really think about it, Samara herself isn't that scary. Sure, she's kind of creepy looking, but she's still just a little girl that walks incredibly slow. If you're an adult and you get murdered by a 13-year-old girl, you should be ashamed of yourself. Just put your hand on her head and hold her back like your big brother used to do to you. Eventually, she'll get frustrated and go crying to her parents. Sure, she may tattle on you, but at least you'll be alive. Next up is one of the most iconic movie bad guys in cinematic history. Michael Myers from the Halloween franchise. A group of college students recently watched the original Halloween for a study and then gave Michael Myers a grade on a scale of 1 to 10 to determine how scary he was to them. The average of the group was 5.4. He's big, strong, and intimidating, but the fact that he moves slower than my grandpa who's in a wheelchair means you should easily be able to get away from him. Don't run upstairs or hide in a closet like those idiotic teenagers in every horror movie. Go out the front door and run. After about 10 minutes, there's no way he'd be able to catch up with you. If you get killed by this guy, you're just being lazy. Number 8 on our list is The Children of the Corn. The Children of the Corn follows a young couple who gets trapped in a remote town where a dangerous religious cult of children believe everyone over the age of 18 must be killed. First off, don't go wandering into cornfields. Also, make sure your car is working properly before you drive through the remote countryside. Those are pretty basic rules you'll learn if you watch any scary movie. Also, these are a bunch of kids with pitchforks that we're talking about. The oldest and most dangerous ones are just a bunch of lanky, zit-faced teenagers. Just say the word boobs and they'll spontaneously combust. Then you just have to deal with a bunch of preteens and toddlers. All you have to do to defeat them is sit them in front of an iPad and you can be on your way. Outlander! Come on! Come on! Come on, Outlander! Next up is the film that put Jennifer Aniston on the map. We're talking about Leprechaun. Leprechaun is one of those movies that's so bad it's good. It even spawned several hilariously bad sequels, like Leprechaun in Space or Leprechaun in the Hood. Warwick Davis plays a titular Leprechaun, who goes on a killing rampage in search of his precious pot of gold. Sure, he's magical and has a few tricks up his sleeve, but how do you expect us to be afraid of the same guy who played Willow and an Ewok? I mean, his goblin in Harry Potter was scarier than Leprechaun. Number six is one of the most famous toys in movie history. We're talking about Chucky from Child's Play. Child's Play follows the story of a single mother who gives her son a popular doll for his birthday, only to discover that it's possessed by the soul of a serial killer. However, I just have a hard time being scared of a small doll, no matter how creepy it looks. I mean, it just seems insanely easy to survive an attack from him. It's a miracle that anyone who gets murdered by a plastic toy lived that long in the first place. All you need is a can of Axe body spray and a lighter. We're friends to the end, remember? This is the end, friend. Number five is an animal that I just don't find scary. But for whatever reason, people keep making them the monster in their scary movies. That's right, I'm talking about birds. Don't get me wrong, The Birds is a classic movie. Alfred Hitchcock had a way of taking something mundane and normal and making it terrifying. However, even though The Birds has some tense moments, it seems pretty easy to avoid getting murdered by a group of seagulls and pigeons. Just go into a room with no windows and hang out for a while. Eventually, they'll get bored and go find a worm or something. But even those birds aren't as stupid as the killer turkey in the other horror classic, Thanks Killing. There's no such thing as an evil turkey. Oh wait, I lied. <laughs> Next up is 1997's Jack Frost. This film follows a serial killer turned snowman who walks around and stabs people with icicles. Not to be confused with the family-friendly Jack Frost starring Michael Keaton that came out just a year later. First off, this is a snowman, people, meaning he's made of snow. That makes him pretty darn easy to kill. 
Just start a fire, or boil some water, or shoot him with a hair dryer, or even just breathe hot air on the guy. You can even just stay inside long enough for him to melt on his own. I highly doubt that anyone with twigs for arms would be able to open a door. How are you? We're old's most pissed off snow cone. No, no! Next up is Possessed Automobiles. You heard that right. There's an alien ghost-possessed bulldozer in the movie Killdozer. I mean, bulldozers could definitely do some damage, but as long as you can jog at a brisk pace or go into a large, sturdy building, you should be fine. And don't forget John Carpenter's Christine, the movie about a murderous 1958 Plymouth Fury. To avoid getting killed by that, just move to LA. With all the traffic there, it'll never be able to get to you. Want to know what's even more stupid than possessed cars? Possessed Furniture. There's an actual movie called Attack of the Killer Refrigerator. And in the fourth installment of the Amityville Horror franchise, a lamp becomes possessed and starts attacking people. There's also a killer laundry press machine in The Mangler. But when it comes to killer furniture, none are worse than the killer bed and death bed, the bed that eats. In case you couldn't tell from the title, the bed eats people. But keep in mind, beds are stationary. To survive that, all you have to do is not sleep in it. Use your head, people. So you're probably asking yourself, what person could possibly come up with a worse horror movie villain than possessed cars or possessed furniture? Well, that person is M. Night Shyamalan. M. Night Shyamalan started his career with a lot of promise. The Sixth Sense, Unbreakable, and even Signs were all extremely well-made thrillers. However, he quickly showed that his early films were the exception, not the rule. He made some pretty bad movies since then, but none were worse than The Happening. Like all of his movies, The Happening features a big twist at the end. It turns out, the plants were releasing chemicals that were causing humans to kill themselves. Just wear a gas or surgical mask. Problem solved. Even though the plants weren't scary, want to know what was scary about this movie? The dialogue. We're packing hot dogs for the road. You know, hot dogs get a bad rap. They got a cool shape, they got protein. You like hot dogs, right? Anyway, that's our list of the top 10 least scary horror movie villains of all time. Did we leave some out? Just let us know in the comments section. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us on all of our social media accounts. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Top 10 Countdown. Until next time, I'm your host, Jordan Ross.